Knock knock. Hello and welcome to this session. My name is Rohini from Tara Books and we're the publishers of Knock Knock by Kauri Takahashi. Right now we are conducting a series of live sessions called Travelling Titles. In Travelling Titles, we explore our ties with fraternal publishers around the world. In this iteration of the series, uh, we are working along with the INCO Center, which is the Indo-Korean Cultural and Information Center here in Chennai, and exploring some of our books which have been translated into Korean. In the previous session, we explored the color book by Sophie Benini. In this session, we are looking through Knock Knock by Kauri Takahashi. This is a very unique book that opens out in a very special way. Over the course of this session, you will know about how this book came to be. We will hear from Geeta Wolf, our publisher for that. We'll hear from Kauri Takahashi herself about the process of making such a unique book. She will talk about the different versions it went through. Um, we will then have a detailed walkthrough of the book. If you have the book already, maybe you will find some details that you have missed before. We'll then hear from Bore Impress, who is the Korean publisher of the book and the process of working with us on translating this into Korean and how it was received there. We'll also hear from a student from the INCO Center about the experience of reading this book. And um, finally, if you have any questions over the course of this session, keep dropping them on the comment section and we'll respond to this in the end. So thank you so much for joining us again. Let's start this off with Gita Wolf. Hello, uh, my name is Gita Wolf. I'm the publisher of Tara Books. Um, welcome to all of you uh, taking part in this special event, which uh, we're putting out uh, in collaboration with the Inco Center in Chennai. Um, and I'm here to tell you about uh, the book Knock Knock, which is a very special book, a very experimental book and a very successful book, uh, which is a very rare combination. And uh, also to talk to you about how the project began. In 2014, I was invited by the Itabashi Museum in Tokyo, Japan, to hold a summer atelier, a yearly workshop that they have where they invite professionals to work with illustrators and designers over a 10 day period. Now the um, topic for uh, this particular event which I had chosen was called the form of the book. Now the form of the book is a very interesting thing because uh, we usually think of the book as sheets bound within um, a cover uh, which you can flip and it's a very resilient form it's been around for 500 years and lasts long i hope but there are also other forms of the book um, which are very interesting to explore and when i say forms of the book i mean how does it open um, how do you as a reader when you interact with the book, when you open it, when you look at it, how, how do you make meaning in your head? How does the act of opening a book, or looking at the book in a particular way, affect um, how the meaning of the book is created? So we know traditionally that you know we have scrolls in India, in Japan and in other um, Asian countries, they also have a form of the horizontal scroll. We have um, storytelling uh, panels in some countries. So there's a lot of 
forms and old forms of the book that exist. A book, basically, what is the difference between a, a book and an object, an object that opens out? Essentially, a book tells a story, a narrative, um, and ideally, um, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it brings you an entire worldview. That's um, what a book is composed of. So when I was asked to do this workshop, we had a lot of very talented uh, students. Um, Kyoko Matsuoka, the curator of Itabashi Museum, had selected an excellent group of um, illustrators and designers, many of whom we've gone on to work with in future, but Kaori Takahashi, who did Knock Knock, was one of them. And um, she had created um, this very interesting fold out uh, and had conceived of going through an apartment. Uh, and, you know, the story was still raw in her head, but um, she had come up with a form. Now the, uh, it was a very interesting idea, but the problem with the form was that it was very complicated, it was opening in many different directions and it was very hard to um, visualize it becoming something um, which you could actually put out as a book that would also work. So we invited her to come to Chennai, to India and she did. And so what we did was we simplified the form that she had come up with and also um, edited and honed the narrative with her. And what you see now um, is really the finished form of uh, how we work with her on this book. Um, basically, we did two things. We simplified and made the opening of the book very predictable uh, so that even a child is able to uh, grasp very quickly and get excited by how the book unfolds, uh, folds and unfolds. And the second thing is we made the production of it possible by, um, and you'll hear more about this later, by incorporating some of the constraints that we have with production and to see that such a thing is easily uh, producible in large numbers. It's gone on to be a large uh, uh, success and we're very, very proud of it. Um, and enjoy uh, looking at it and discovering it and thank you very much for your attention. Hello, I'm Kauri. I'm an illustrator and picture book writer. When I make picture book, I often focus on book shape. So. I'd like to introduce this book, Knock Knock. This is my first book published by Tara Books. The story is that a little girl knocks on her neighbor's room to look for her friend's stuffed bear. And this book has a strange book shape compared to other books. First, you open this way. Next, open up, then go this way, this way. Finally, this book became a one sheet. You can see all pages at once. So, uh, I like thinking and making strange book shape with story. On normal book, a normal book, previous pages get out of sight. I thought, what if happen if the previous pages remain? This is an idea to make this book, knock knock. It took a few years to make with Starbucks. I made many dummy books. The number of dummy books may be about more than 
Tuero. The early ones were more complicated than the last. The final shape of knock knock is not difficult. You can also make it, for example, with a bow paper and hold it in half like this. And next in three, like this, like this, then open it and take turn cutting it in half, like this. Finally, holding like ring from the side, like this. Okay. Okay. So, and I draw a uh, door and knock knock on first page. Like this and then there are some other next page here it likes it became like this book knock knock so please try it it's not difficult so I think there are many possibility on shape of a book I hope you enjoy Shaper Book and Story on this book Knock Knock. Thank you. Bye. Knock Knock by Kaori Takahashi. Knock Knock. I'm home. My bear? Is my bear there? Do you see a bear anywhere over here? Where is my bear? Maybe it's up there. Knock, knock. Is my bear there? Wow, do you see a small cat has joined her? Do you think a bear will be there? Oh, what's this? Looks like a library. Is it someone's house? Do you see creatures here? There's a man. There's a boy. Oops, there's also the lizard. Do you think the lizard will join her? Yeah, there he is. He joined her. Knock knock, have you seen my bear? Wow, this is a very different apartment. Lot of plants, even a tree. Do you see a bear anywhere here? Who do you think will join her from this apartment? Maybe the... Oh, if you look closely, there's a butterfly that joined her. See, there's a butterfly there. Wow, and she's ready to join the mission. Knock, knock, do you have my bear? Wow, this seems to be an artist's or photographer's studio, doesn't it? But I don't see any bears here. There's a little girl putting up photos. There's someone observing, seeing if it's right. But no bear. There seems to be something there, a small doll of some sort. But that's not a bear, is it? Nope. Oh, and if you see, this little doll joined her. How very kind. 
Knock, knock. My bear, is he there? Oh, what kind of apartment is this? Some interesting people seem to be living here. There's a green person, someone who is red, but no bears. What are they doing? What are they watching? They look a bit mean actually. Ah, but someone joined from that apartment. These are geta. I'm not pronouncing it right, but these are slippers used in Japan very traditionally to walk through rainy, muddy waters. It's slippers on stilts. Knock, knock. Where are you, bear? Whoa, this apartment has seen a lot. What's going on over here? Who do you think will join? Maybe those pencils over there. I see a clock. And there it is. The clock joined. How very nice. Look at this little gang. Knock, knock. Bear, are you there? Another windswept apartment. But these have some other creatures going on. They seem to be some wind spirits. Wow, she may be swept away if she's there for too long. I don't see a bear over there, do you? Knock, knock. Where is my bear? And look, another butterfly has joined. How nice of them. Wow, what kind of an apartment is this? It seems to be in the North Pole. There's reindeer there. There's a Santa Claus costume. Who might this be? Perhaps someone off duty. Who will join her from here? Maybe those boots. Let's see. Oh, it's the snowman that joined. How nice. Knock, knock. Is my bear there? Wow, I wonder what's cooking here. The girl there seems quite concerned too. I guess she understands what it feels like to lose your bear. So does the chicken actually. Chicken seems to have joined her. That's why some chickens can be quite nice. Knock, knock. Do you have my bear? This is a forest. There seems to be deer there, a lot of plants, trees. A strange thing to be in an apartment building. And wow, what's joined her is a little sapling. Do you see that? There. Knock, knock. Is my bear in here? Wow, it seems to be an underwater world right there. There are whales and fishes, all sorts of marine life. Who will join her from here? Maybe my bear is up there. And look, it's a little crab that's joined her from the marine apartment. Where are you, bear? Oh, my bear. There he is. Look, she found him. The bird had the bear. And there's a little helicopter over there. If you go all the way down, you can actually see how the bear went via balloon. What was the bear doing with the balloon? Hmm. Thank you, bird. Hello, bear. Look how happy she is. Let's go, bear. And down she runs. Down, 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 down. All the way down. And she goes to sleep. Good night, bear. Oh. Actually, if you go back up, you will notice something quite interesting. All her friends who joined her are now slowly going back home because I suppose their families would be concerned if they went missing too and they all want to sleep. I hope you enjoyed this walk through Knock Knock. What's so interesting about this fascinating form of the book is that it's actually a small book that opens up 
into this big size. It's one A1 sheet that has been die cut and folded to form the book that you see. The book slowly builds up pace, gets more tense and tense. Finally, she finds her bear and runs all the way down. I hope you enjoyed the brief walkthrough of Knock Knock that we just went through. Here we're going to talk about a few previous editions like this. It was originally called Neighborhood and it opened out in many, many different ways before it became what it is now. It would open left and right and top and center quite unpredictably till it became this. So for this, it is one A1 sheet which has been cut and fold in specific places. In this diagram, the jagged lines are the cuts and the other lines are the folds. Simplifying the book into this form made it easy to produce while still keeping the element of surprise. And we did that by inviting Kauri over and working on the form together. As it happens, Another interesting project came up with Kauri when she visited us a second time to do workshops with children around Knock Knock. Now, in the format of a workshop, explaining how that form opens up is quite complicated. So what we came up together was to simplify the book form into six panels like you see here so it would be cut in two places and folded in the rest so it would be a simpler way to open out the book and we thought that this would be especially interesting for children to try out their own stories within an hour or two the interesting thing that also happened is that while we came up with this simplified form just for the workshop, the stories that Kauri came up with for these forms were so interesting, these became her next books with Tara. It's a series of books called Pika Books and it's aimed at toddlers of all ages. And they are like Knock Knock but slightly simpler. So it would be six panels which would open out something like this or like this that goes boo this is who's hungry this is a book called happy birthday and the next one is called the tree all of these books are available at tarabooks.com if you're interested to find out a little bit more. They are quite a success with children just like Knock Knock. Speaking of success, like Geeta Wolf had mentioned in the beginning, it's actually quite rare for experimental book forms like this to be a big success like it has been. Knock Knock has been translated into eight languages and it has a worldwide print run of 51,000 copies. In English, it's in its third edition of 9,000 copies and it's also in its third edition in Korean. In Korean, it was published by Boren Press, another wonderful picture book publisher in Korea. And we'll hear a little bit more about their thoughts on translating such a book and working with us next. 안녕하세요. 저는 보림 출판사 편집장 박은덕이라고 합니다. 똑똑똑똑 책을 통해서 여러분을 만나게 되어 너무 기쁩니다. 이 책을 처음 봤을 때는요, 어, 책 다른 책과 달리 책장을 열게 되면 이렇게 한장한장 한장 열어가면서 봐야 되는 책이어서 어, 보통의 책들과 다르게 어, 직장을 추측하기가 쉽지가 않습니다. 그래서 독자는 모든 상상력을 통해서 이 책을 
집중해서 보게 될 수밖에 없고요. 그래서 굉장히 매력적인 책이라고 생각을 했습니다. 이 책을 다 공간을 열면서 보게 되면 새로운 공간이 창출되는데요. 어, 그러면서 작품, 책의 작품이 완성도가 높고 매력적인 책이라고 생각이 됩니다. 한국에서는 온라인 서점을 통해서 많은 독자들이 책을 구매하게 되어 있습니다. 온라인 서점에서는 표지 한 컷이랑 본문 두세 컷으로 책을 구매하게 되어 있는데요. 이 책은 그렇게 해서는 구매를 할 수가 없는 책입니다. 그래서 스톱모션 영상을 촬영을 해서 이 책을 동영상을 올려서 그것을 보고 독자들이 좀 구매할 수 있도록 하였고요. 되도록이면 오프라인 매장에서 아이들과 함께 이 책을 만져보고 펼쳐보고 열어보고 구매할 수 있도록 유도했습니다. 그런 점이 아이들에게 많은 영향을 주고 기뻐한 것 같습니다. 그림책은 다음 장을 기대하면서 보는 책이기도 합니다. 특히 이 책은 장면 장면을 펼치는 장면이 굉장히 드라마틱해서 집에서 아이와 엄마가 함께 보는 경우도 많았지만요. 특히 학교나 도서관에서 많은 아이들이 사서 선생님이나 유치원 선생님과 함께 장면 장면을 보면서 다음 장면을 기대하고 환호성도 지르면서 기대하면서 즐겁게 보는 책이기도 해서 많은 아이들이 함께 기쁘게 본 책이기도 합니다. 보림 출판사는 그림책은 아이가 처음 만나는 갤러리라고 생각을 하고 책을 만들고 있습니다. 한 권의 책을 보더라도 예술성이 높은 그림책을 아이 때 보아야지만 어, 예술적인 감성이 풍부한 아이로 자라기 때문입니다. 그런 고민들은 사실 하루아침에 되는 것들은 아니어서요. 만드는 출판사도 예술적인 그림책이 어떤 것인가에 대한 개념에 대해서 굉장히 고민을 하고 있던 차에 파라북스의 나무들의 밤을 보게 되었습니다. 그 책을 처음 보았을 때 그림책이 누구나 소장할 수 있는 예술 작품이라는 것에 깊이 공감을 하게 되었습니다. 파라북스의 정신과 고림 출판사의 정신이 같이 공감하면서 지속적으로 파라 출판사의 실크스크린 책들을 출간하고 있고요. 앞으로도 기회가 된다면 어, 좋은 작품을 공유하면서 그림책을 출간하고 싶습니다. 감사합니다. Hello everyone, my name is Anusha and I am a student of Inco Center. In this video, I would like to talk about this wonderful book I have in my hands. It is called Tok 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 Tok, which means Knock Knock in Korean. As everyone might already know, it is a foldable book and with each fold, there is absolute amazement. When I first got my hands on this book, I was astonished by its size. I, before reading the book, was skeptical of the idea of a foldable book because folding takes space and considering the size of the book, I thought the story might be a little too rushed. But this masterpiece surely did prove me wrong. I removed the book from its adorable cover and started reading. Uh, no, no, started the journey. The latter word would be accurate in the view of the fact that we move along the protagonist fold after fold, coming across many adventures as she knocks on the door of every apartment in the building, questing after her beloved bear. I found myself grinning from year to year as I read the book. This book has so much to tell with delightful and appealing pictures. I was mind blown observing the marvelous illustrations and the flawless structure of the story. Since there isn't much usage of words, tiny tots can easily comprehend and will be captivated by the book. My Korean teacher and I had a conversation about the excellent usage of onomatopoeia for the title of the book. 
she also told me about how great it would be to have parents or teachers to read the book along with the children since this is the perfect book to enrich their imagination personally i feel on the whole that this book is a complete package taking into account its simplicity awesome illustrations and most definitely the curiosity it instills i wonder where this book was when i was a child because i would have been all the more fascinated if i had had the chance to acquire this breathtaking book but as an aspiring beginner learner of the korean language i find this book very helpful in improving my korean vocabulary thank you Ah I'm so sorry uh I was on mute <laughs> Okay I sorry um I'll just say to <laughs> repeat it I was just reading out the kind comments that came in from Raghuram A Janaki Kalyana Raman Champa Srinivasan and Bishaka Datta Sorry I was on mute um thank you for the nice comments about the book Uh we had an interesting comment from Fani Kumar who says how do you cultivate the habit of reading Um for children I think um and this is something that uh, we speak about at Tara Books is that children learn from their parents so um if you have a habit of reading then children get curious about that and they um read to they get curious about books and they explore it themselves and see which book finds them um so that's one way to do it or you could um also introduce children to different types of books to see what works because maybe they just haven't found the right book yet um uh okay and just wanted to say before i ended this session that knock knock is at a special 20% discount on the website just use the coupon code knock20 um it's there till friday and and also i really want to thank our, our partners for this so firstly bore impress thank you so much for sending in the video um thank you kauri um it was so nice to see her after so long and finally of course inco center and anusha from inco center uh i hope you enjoyed this session and if you did i hope you can join us um next month where we will be doing another book which has also been translated into korean thank you